bright duty every student matters hello students my name is sanjay jain in this particular lecture we will discuss about representing real numbers on the number line as we discussed in the introduction part that every point on this number line is a real number right and every real number can be represented on the real number line right when i made the number line like this 0 1 2 3 and so on negative 1 negative 2 and so on till the negative infinity i said that there are infinite numbers between 1 and 2 right then we discussed the number in the middle of 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 right there are infinite numbers between 1 and 3 by 2 right then we finally commented that between any two points on the real number line there are infinite numbers right so we will talk about those numbers and how to represent such numbers on the real number line now let us look at the first example here visualize the representation of 5.37 bar on the number line up to five decimal places so we are supposed to represent 5.3 7 7 7 7 on the number line and this we will use successive magnification this is just a word you do not have to worry about it it is uh, like this if you have got a magnifying glass and look at the number line then you will be able to look between the numbers right you can magnify the number line so you will be able to look at very very small numbers between these two numbers right so let us discuss about 5.37777 if you have got this number line here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on now if i ask you where will 5.37777 lie will it lie between 4 and 5 no because it is greater than 5 this number is greater than 5 right and lesser than 6 this number is greater than 5 and lesser than 6 so it will definitely lie between this interval between 5 and 6 now this successive magnification says that if you take a magnifying glass and look at this interval only this interval will look like this let us say this is 5 and this is 6 okay if you divide this gap between 5 and 6 now this is magnified image when i look at this using a magnifying glass let us say this is my magnifying glass when i look at this portion this will look like this right i have magnified it so i uh, now i'll divide 5 and 6 the gap between 5 and 6 into 10 parts 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So these are ten parts now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right now, this first mark will give me five point one. This will give me five point two. This will give me five point three. This will give me five point four. Similarly, five point five, five point six, five point seven, five point eight. 5.9 and then 6 now tell me where will 5.37 lie okay i am not talking about 777 here i am just talking about 5.37 5.37 is definitely greater than 5.3 right and the number of it doesn't depend on these numbers of 7 it will definitely be lesser than 5.4 right it will never achieve 5.4 value so it is lesser than 5.4 but it is greater than 5.3 so the gap that i am concerned about is this one between 5.3 and 5.4 now i'll again use a magnifying glass and look exclusively in this gap between 5.3 and 5.4 so i will magnify this gap here using a magnifying glass so if this is 5.3 
and this is 5.4 this is the magnified image magnified image okay now look between 5.3 and 5.4 we can again divide it in 10 portions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and this is 10th portion right let it be 5.4 alright so these are 10 portions once again now tell me what is this here this is 5.31 this is 5.32 this is 5.33 similarly 5.34 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5 5.38, 5 5.39 and then 5.40 that is 5.4. Now we will again look at the number 5.37777, right. Now where will this number lie? Out of these intervals it will lie between 5.37 and 5.38 right because this number is greater than 5.37 yes and it is lesser than it is lesser than 5.38 so this number will lie between this gap okay so i'll again magnify this gap here i hope you have got the sense of what i am doing in this question right uh, you have certainly got the idea by now 5.37 5.38 right this is just the procedure that i need to follow to reach at this point otherwise i hope you have understood it already right so i will divide this gap between 10 equal gaps 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay out of these this will be 5.371 5.372 this will be 5.379 right this will be 5.378 5.377 right look at this number this will be greater than this but lesser than this so it will be in this gap so i will magnify this gap this time now this will become 5.377 5.378 now right again divide this into 10 equal parts so this part will be 5.3771 next will be 5.3772 this one will be 5.3779 right before it it will be 5.3778 and this will be 5.3 seven 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 and the rest of the parts you do it yourself the rest of the parts i will focus my attention on this part now because 5.37777 will lie between these two numbers because this number is greater than 5.3777 and this number is lesser than 5.3778 right so i will magnify this portion now and this will give me the final location of the required number so this is 5.3777 and this is 5.3778 okay so now this number will be 5 if i divide this portion into 10 equal parts then this part this number will be 5.37771 next will be 5.3 seven 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 two okay and then so on three one two three four five six seven so this number will be five point three seven 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 and another seven here okay after this eight nine and then this number so i have located this number on the number line by successive magnification okay this is the method of locating or representing a number through successive magnification we have done nothing in this we have just magnified the gaps okay we have visualized that it will be between these gaps okay because every real number we know can be represented on the number line 
So we can definitely find a small number or a number with repeated decimals right on the number line through this process.